my channel if you clicked on this video a huge thank you to you that was just so like desperate like I gotta play it a lot more cool this time hey guys welcome back to my YouTube channel today I'm going to be doing a how I edit my Instagram pictures video I just feel like I have to address one thing I'm not really having a good hair day I tried to fix it and just like I tried crimping it and then I tried braiding it and it just like she wasn't cooperating and I just feel a little bit off today but I'm going to be showing you how I edit my Instagram photos and nobody really asked for this but I just thought I would show you because I'm sure someone out there is wondering before we get on into the video, I just want to say if you want to go follow me on Instagram, you can if you want to. It's totally up to you. I just love taking pictures. Me and my mom just like, we both love it. I mean, I can't really speak for her, but I'm pretty sure we just, uh, just vibe together when we're taking those pics and our creativity is just kind of bouncing off each other. Once I think about it, it might be a little bit more of a one-way vibe. I, I just kind of force her to take pictures of me. For all of you who ask who takes my pictures, like 90% of the time it is my mom. Let's just get on into the video. So my Instagram is it's Luca Whitaker. Again, just like go follow me. Like it's fine. Like this whole video is like kind of like a low-key promotion for my Instagram. So um, it would just be great if you kind of followed along with that. If you're wondering, I take pictures on my Sony a6000 and it's a really easy camera because it's just autofocus and you can put it on like audio, audio, auto mode and like you don't really have to do a whole lot. I'm not really into photography so I couldn't tell you anything more about the camera but in my opinion that's pretty good. And I have the Sigma 1.4 art lens. That definitely plays a big role into like the blurry background of a lot of my photos. And I also take pictures with my iPhone X as well. And and this just has like pretty good decent quality if I'm like on the go and I don't have my camera then I'll take pictures with my phone and I'm gonna import this photo I usually choose or go with multiple filters with each photo it's probably not like the best for like my theme I just feel like every picture is different so it doesn't make sense to like put one filter on just for like the theme and like so it looks all put together when like another filter looks better so on this photo I really thought that the filter HB2 looks really good on it I actually paid for like every single visco filter i think it's like 12 dollars for a year i have considered getting lightroom and i was just been thinking about it for the longest time but right now i just don't really feel like i need it because visco is fine and i'm not really that professional yet so maybe one day i'll get lightroom but it's just a lot of money so visco is free <coughs> and easy I'm like low-key sick, so this is a little bit hard for me. See, all these other filters look like fine. Ooh, that one definitely does not go. But I went with HP2, and I usually put it on like 12 or like 10. It uh, doesn't, doesn't really matter, but 12, we'll just go with that. And then I go to like the little adjust tools, and I'll go to the HSL feature. And I just started using this, and it helps a lot with like brightening the colors that you want to make more prominent in the photo. And it makes me feel really professional when I'm just toying around with all the features so I usually go to like the purples and it depends like what colors in the picture because if there's no purple in the picture like it's not gonna make a difference but there's a lot of blue in this picture so I just want to make that a little bit more prominent so I can either make it like more light blue and I obviously don't want it to make it like look fake but just a little bit more colorful so I just kind of toy around with it there's like some purple in this photo that I kind of want to make stand out. So now you can see that like a lot of the colors in the background or are a lot more out there. So another thing that I do, not with every photo, it's kind of like depends on the photo, but sometimes I'll go to, go to grain and just kind of like put that on two or three. Um, I think it kind of helps in like if you zoom in on the photo, like it just gives it a kind of like painting look as opposed to, I don't really know why I use it, but sometimes it just helps. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's see, I just kinda like mess around with all of the little things, like the saturation. I usually don't put it on too much just because I don't want my photo to be orange. Okay, so for this one, I use the filter C9. I don't usually use this filter, but for some reason it just looked particularly good on the photo. I go to the saturation. I think I bumped this up like a lot because there's a lot of color in this photo. That looks about right. Then I 
don't think HSL was a feature when I edited this for the first time, but I'm just gonna like play around with it to show you guys. I mean, I'm just gonna turn all of these up because I think it's so cool how you can adjust that. And this one I think grain would look good on and I also put the tint up for some photos just kind of gives it like a more purpley look to it so I do that and bam we're done with that photo the next thing I do once I finish editing them in VSCO or visco I know I'm gonna get some hate for saying VSCO why are they all capitals tell me that tell me that if it was visco don't you think it would just be lowercase VSCO I do post my photos that I don't post on Instagram to visco so if you want you can go follow me I honestly don't care it's just if you want to see like other filters that I use on each photo so the next app that I use, and you guys are probably gonna be like, use Facetune Luga, and yes I do, for whitening the background of my photos. And let me show you guys how I use Facetune. This is just like really helpful if I want to whiten the background of a wall. I just go ahead and take the whiten, the teeth whitener feature, and I just like whiten the whole background. So that is definitely not perfect, but I just wanted to show you guys how I do that on Facetune. And then the next thing that I do is I bring my photos over to the app called Snug. And what this basically does is just arranges your photos so that you can see what they're going to all look like together. Right now I have some photos here that I may have not posted so I guess you're getting a sneak peek. But what I do is just import the new photos that I have taken and then it just lets you like rearrange them. Um, this was like, I think this was like a dollar but I know there's other free apps that can do just the same. This one's my favorite. So... That is how I edit my Instagram photos. I really hope this was helpful for you guys. If you're new, make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out my vlog channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.